This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We come together as the people of God on this third Sunday of Easter to give praise and worship to our risen Savior, to celebrate the gift of redemption given us to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, to renew our resolve to live as his faithful disciples. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. All praise the mighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto you all hearts are open, and all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of our faith, that we may be holy in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn is God of Grace and God of Glory. Amen. Verses 1, 2, and 4. Let's stand and sing. Number 755.
come to the time where we return some of the gifts that have been entrusted to us in our tithes and our offerings for the mission and ministry of this church. <clears throat> Almighty God, giver of all good and perfect gifts, we thank you for the blessing upon blessing you lavish so generously upon us. Give us generous hearts that the resource you've given us may be used to build your kingdom on this earth. Amen. <laughs>
that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today's reading in Acts actually starts in the middle of the story. The whole story is that John and Peter are going to the temple for evening prayers. They're still in Jerusalem. Uh, this is about, this is after the Pentecost event. This is probably about six months after the resurrection. So this is the summer following the, the events of the, the resurrection. So they go, they go to this, uh, they're going to the temple for the evening prayers. And by the, the beautiful gate uh, is this beggar. Now the, the beggar is apparently brought there every day, is what, what Acts tells us. And uh, the beautiful gate is the one that separates the, uh, in the temple the court of women from the court of Israel. In other words, it, you're, you're, you, it's the one where the Jewish women are allowed is the, 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 the women's court, and then right inside is where the men go, in the, in the men's court, uh, the court of Israel. And he's right at this gate. And so he's begging for money. This is what he does every day. He's, he wants, you know, he needs money to live in. And of course, it's at the temple, so people are generous, willing to, to help someone who's uh, suffering. And <laughs> Peter and John come by, and uh, of course he, he begs for them. And, and Peter says to him, look, we don't have any gold, we don't have any silver, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. And he does. And he gets up and walks, and he accompanies Peter and John into the into uh, the court of Israel and, and to do the prayers. And, and people are, are looking at him, and they're like, uh, "This is a beggar, wasn't he? We've seen him for for for, for a long time uh, begging at this gate. How is he able to walk? What's going on here?" And that's where where Peter launches into this uh, into this into this uh, the reading today. And the first thing he says is, look, we didn't do this. God did this. Christ did this. The, 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 this, this Jesus, who we keep telling you about, is the one who healed this person. So for, for Peter, there's this great moment of humility that says, hey, it ain't me. It's God. And, and that's who we, we bear witness to. This is, this, this is the person that we've been telling you about who can heal people, can make somebody who's lame to walk again, who has the healing. And then he, he, he gets uh, very diplomatic. He says, oh, this is the guy that if you remember during Passover, there was this guy that uh, you guys wanted to have crucified, but instead you said, let Barabbas go, the murderer. And, uh, you know, this is the guy who, who, who died. You had crucified the Pilate was ready to release him because he hadn't, he hadn't done anything wrong. But you guys wanted him killed anyway? Kind of lays a guilt trip on him. But he also says, but you didn't know what you were doing. Your rulers were deceived as well. You, 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 you really didn't understand who this person was. This person that can work this miracle that you've witnessed here today. You really didn't understand, you didn't know that this is God. That this is the Messiah. That this is the person who, who, who came, he was the author of life, and you had him killed because you didn't know what you were doing. So he's very diplomatic about what he says. And what, what Peter is doing here is, is he's, he's you know, kind of pointing out, he says, look, this, God knew this was going to happen. It's in the scriptures. In the Old Testament, if you read the Old Testament, they tell you that the, 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 the Messiah is going to suffer. And that's exactly what happened. So, so yeah, okay, you, you guys are off the hook here. But you need to repent of your sins. And this, is, this, this Jesus is the one, the Messiah, who takes away your sins, who forgives you your sins. And, 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 what, and, and throughout all this, Peter is saying that he's a witness to all this. That he's just telling what he's seen and what he knows. That it's not about him, it's about God. It's always been about God. And, and, and what, we, what we bear witness to when we go out into the world and we talk to other people and we tell them about the good news of the great joy, what we're doing is bearing witness to not us, but the God that, 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 that loves us. 
that provided for our forgiveness, that, that we are simply telling His story for His glory and honor. There's a, a tendency to, to, in our own little world, that's part of our, our sin, it's part of our pride, we tend to get wrapped up in ourselves. And even, even as Christians, we tend to get wrapped up in ourselves as, well, we're the good people. We're the people that, that go out and do what's right. We're the people that go out and, and love our neighbors and tell other people to love our neighbors. And it's even we tend to think about it's about us, but it's not. It's always been about God. God is a king who loves his creation. God is a king who, 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 who owns us, who, who directs us. He's the master of the universe. We are his. And he, in, our, in our day and age, especially in, in America, we don't like to think of ourselves as slaves. But yes, we are. We are his servants. We, it is not about us. If it is about God. And when as we serve him, and as we do his will, as we surrender ourselves and bear witness to the good things that he has done in our life, we tend to forget that it's not about us. God forgives us because it's part of the redemption of his creation. He wants his creation, all of his creation, to be redeemed. He wants all of his creation to be brought back into harmony with him. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ is not... Is it is for you, but it's also not for you. It's for you because you are an integral part of that creation. But the redemption of Jesus Christ is for everyone. And so we go out and we bear witness. We go out and we tell the good news. Sinner, do you love my Jesus? Because Jesus is for you as well. Jesus is for all the children. It's not about us. It's about God. <clears throat> Paul sums it up very nicely at the end of, uh, of, of Romans. This is Romans 8, and it's not exact. It's not exact. I've cut out some of the things here, but who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him, who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor power, nor height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we prepare to go before the throne of grace for the congregational prayer, <clears throat> we join in the uh, song of reflection as we prepare our hearts and minds, may we remain seated as we sing. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master. surrounds us. Your gifts of, of, of all those good things that make our life worth living. To fill our hearts with joy. To fill our hearts with, 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 with praise for, for your holy name. For you alone are worthy of all honor and praise. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful uh, the spring that you've given us with all the flowers that paint the countryside. We ask for rain and thank you for the rain that you sent. We pray for those that uh, <clears throat> are suffering from illness and injury and need your healing touch, O oh great physician. We lift them up before you and, 
and ask for, for, for your presence to be with them. We ask for your presence to be with doctors and, and nurses and medical personnel. Give them wisdom and compassion for their patients as they, they seek to, to alleviate pain and, and improve the quality of human life. We pray for our schools as they begin their last uh, six weeks of study. We pray for uh, the, the testing that's going on and we ask for clarity of thought and, uh, and a, a stillness of mind as they uh, complete their final exams. We pray for patience for the teachers and administrators. We pray for the activities that are going on as uh, they wrap up the, uh, the, the extracurriculars of the year. We pray for safety and protection for all our students. We pray for those that are preparing for graduation, such as Larkin and Jamie. We pray for their, uh, their future, that, that, that you continue to lead them on to the next step in their life. <clears throat> we pray for those that are on the front lines, uh, that keep us safe, that, uh, that, that uh, dedicate their lives to serving and the first responders, our fire, our police, our, our ambulance services, our and military that stand between us and the chaos that's going on out there. We pray for peace in the world. We, we, we pray for this uh, uh, new aggression by Iran that it be uh, put aside, that, uh, that they resolve peacefully the differences in the Middle East. We pray for the ongoing conflicts in Ukraine and, the, and in Israel. We pray for peace. We pray for leadership that is wise, that is compassionate, that cares truly for the people that they govern. We pray for our own leaders in this nation as we face this election year, that, uh, that uh, the people that we select for the uh, next few years as a limited term of office, that they have compassion for the people of this country and, and, and strive to, to, to bring peace and, and heal the division and, and uh, uh, bring back order within our uh, within our country and economic prosperity. We pray for those that work behind the scenes, our, our utility workers, our road crews, our merchants, our truck drivers, as they uh, uh, bring the, the bounty of, of your harvest to, to, to uh, make it available to all people. We pray for ourselves, uh, that uh, we... Uh, truly love you, that we grow each day as disciples, that we grow closer to your heart and, and, and grow closer to the people that you call us to be. Give us ears to hear your voice, feet that are swift to go where you send us, as hands that are strong to serve. Clear away that, that slag that remains in our heart, the, those walls that we build between us and each other, between the walls that we build between us and you. Shine your light into the dark crevices of our, of our soul to clean up those last vestiges of sin that remain. Give us the heart of Christ that we may see through his eyes and through his, his uh, arms the compassion that reaches out to the world. Almighty God, we pray for those that are lost in confusion and chaos that need your clarity, that need your, your light to shine in their lives. We pray for those that are suffering from economic hardship that uh, give us generous hearts that we may meet their needs. We pray for this nation, that, the, that there be a revival, that the fire of your Holy Spirit burn across this land, that all may know your glory, that all may know your grace, that all may know your love and peace, that there may be true harmony and there may be true love and the pure uh, agape love of Christ in everyone's heart, that we may turn away from evil and and live moral and righteous lives as a people, as your people. For all these things we ask, and those things we don't even know we're supposed to ask, we lift them before you, Almighty God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone here that has a special joy or celebration, or are they concerned they'd like the body of Christ to pray over? Uh, Jim Ports needs prayers. He hurt his back. Uh, Jim Ports needs prayers. He hurt his back, so he threw his back out. So he needs prayers so he can get better and get back. <coughs> Almighty God, we thank you for Jim and all the work, good work he does in your name. We pray for your healing touch to be upon him uh, on his back, that, that he may grow strong, that he may uh, uh, have uh, ease of pain and uh, continue to serve you. We ask in your name. Amen. <coughs> and 
a joy. Yesterday we had a wonderful turnout for our trash pickup here in London. There were probably 20 people, which we haven't had that in quite some time. And Shannon Brown and her husband grow hot dogs for everyone. We had three of our girls showed up to help. It was, it was a good day. It was a good day. We had a good time. Mother God, we thank you for success of the event that was yesterday, those that uh, contributed to make it uh, uh, such success and, and to serve others and uh, to care for this year world. You have made us stewards of creation. We thank you for the opportunity to, 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 to make the world clean and, and keep your creation pure. We ask in your name. Amen. Amen. We turn to the communion ritual, page 12, 13 of the hymnal, the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly, we are bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who sacrificed for us. <clears throat> he has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rising again to life, he has won for us everlasting life. And so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, <clears throat> God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink of this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here, and all these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world, the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. Our My Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your abundant and great mercies. Grant us, gracious Lord, to partake in this holy sacrament, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Joy. Remind you, this is not London's table, this is not the Methodist table, but this is God's table. And all are welcome to come and partake in this holy sacrament. The small green glass contains grape juice, the larger beige cup contains wine. Come for all things are made.
we thank you for the spiritual food which we have received through this holy mystery. Send us out to do the work you've given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our closing hymn is There is a Fountain Filled with Blood. Number 622. Sing verses 1 through 4, I think it is, yes. Let's stand and sing.